Ryan Poles did it. He finally signed a legit pass rusher that fans have been asking for all offseason long. Yannick Ngakwe is a Chicago Bear, agreeing to a one-year, $10.5 million contract with $10 million guaranteed. The Bears were dead last in the NFL in both sacks and pressures last season, and most of us agreed it was the one position on the roster that Ryan Poles had not done enough of yet. Until today, that is. Poles brought in an accomplished pass rusher who's never had less than eight sacks and 40 pressures in a season. Both would have led our team by a large majority. He's had an impressive seven-year career, totaling 65 sacks, 135 QB hits, 21 forced fumbles, and 378 quarterback pressures. He gets after quarterbacks, which happens to be our team's biggest weakness on the entire roster as we head into the season, and this guy's in the middle of his prime. Most of us expected Poles to make a move for a while now, but the first week of training camp passed and some of us were starting to question if a move was going to be made. Then it happened. Late at night on August 3rd, a week into camp, Poles opened the checkbook and filled our biggest need. Yannick Ngakwe was the best free agent still on the market. He's 6 foot 2, 246 pounds, with average athleticism but a ton of burst and explosion off the line. He does one thing really well, get after quarterbacks. His run defense is not great. He's graded out poorly against the run for his career, and he's best known as a pass rusher. This fits perfectly with the Bears because Eberflus rotates his defensive lineman anyway. Nobody on the line will play every snap, and Coach Flus will make sure to have Yannick out there when it's time to get after the quarterbacks. I expect him to start as well and play some early downs, but he doesn't need to as long as he's out there getting after the quarterbacks when it matters most, which is third down. I think his run defense can easily be hidden on early downs if you play him next to Andrew Billings with TJ Edwards, Tremaine Edmonds, and Jaquan Brisker behind him. I don't expect his run defense to be a big problem. He will get after quarterbacks though, which is exactly what this team needs, and he was the best pass rusher left on the free agent market. I did a live stream for about 30 plus minutes right after the signing where I gave my initial thoughts, but I figured I'd throw something quick together for you guys since the live streams don't really follow the YouTube algorithm well. I will be doing an all 22 video on Yannick coming very soon. I'll be up watching tape on him for a while. I will get that out as soon as possible. The Bears are back to practice tomorrow. Hopefully we get some updates on Tevin Jenkins, Nate Davis, and Jack Sanborn. Thanks to anyone who watches. Please hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down.